Jersey announces its first presumptive case of the coronavirus. And that patient is a man in his 30s. He's been in a Bergen County hospital since Tuesday. The state is now awaiting confirmation by the CDC. Meanwhile, California is in a state of emergency after reporting its first coronavirus death. Health officials say he was a former passenger on the Diamond Princess cruise ship. 11 people have now died in the U.S., with 10 of those from Washington state. Later today, the Senate will vote on funding to battle the coronavirus. The House has approved an $8.3 billion emergency package. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live at Philadelphia International Airport, where the coronavirus has changed pla travel plans, that is, for two airlines. Trang. Well, Janelle and Jim, airlines say the coronavirus has severely impacted travel. So in response, United and JetBlue have announced that they are cutting flights as well as other cost-cutting measures. Here at Philly International Airport, we're in a bit of a quiet period, but we did see very long lines early this morning from spring break travelers. However, a few people did have on face masks as well as gloves. The first coronavirus death in California prompted Governor Gavin Newsom to declare a state of emergency. We have accordingly uh, with this new uh, uh, ICU patient uh, that passed away uh, entered into this next phase. New cases were reported in several states yesterday and the death toll in the U.S. climbed to at least 11, including 10 in Washington state. Six of those deaths have been linked to a nursing home outside Seattle. Officials there urge residents to take precautions. For older people and for those who are pregnant, we are recommending that we stay home and avoid large gatherings as much as possible. The New York lawyer who this week became that state's first confirmed COVID-19 case has since passed it to others. His wife has tested positive, his son has tested positive, and the daughter has tested positive, and the neighbor has tested positive. A family of five the man had close contact with also tested positive for the virus. Authorities are working to track down anyone else who recently interacted with him. They estimate that roughly a thousand people may need to be quarantined. Here locally, schools are taking their own precautions. At St. Lawrence in Upper Darby, the school is being deep cleaned twice a day, and staff are emphasizing the importance of proper hand washing. Over at Bonner Prendy High School, President Dr. John Cook said they made a purchase of a piece of equipment long before coronavirus was ever an issue. Known as the halo fogger, the germ-fighting device can launch a disinfectant mist over a wide surface area. Meanwhile, hospitals around the region have plans in place for a potential influx of patients. We, Jefferson, and I'm surely most hospitals, and perhaps hopefully all hospitals, are preparing themselves for the possibility of an onslaught of, of what could be an epidemic of this infection in the United States. So far, there have been no confirmed cases of coronavirus in Philadelphia. A patient who was tested on Tuesday came back negative for the virus, and a second patient results are pending for that person. But for now, we're live from Philadelphia International Airport. I'm Trang Do, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back to you guys. A lot of concern indeed. All right, Trang, thank you.